So, hello guys. Um, we will be today making the unboxing of this package and inside this package, I'm really excited about the camera that is here inside. It's a Polaroid 660 out of focus in a transparent case. So it is a demo camera. It means the camera that is inside, it's quite rare. It was never on the market. Um, and it was just, uh, let's say, distributed by Polaroid for the retailers, yeah, for the sellers of Polaroid cameras. The idea of Polaroid was to make one of these cameras in the transparent case that people could see a bit better how the camera works, what kind of components and how is the complexity behind a camera, uh, a Polaroid camera that works also with autofocus, yeah? So that's why it's so important. That's why, the, the, let's say, I'm so excited about this because it's quite rare, yeah? Um, so I have also here the material that I will be using for that, the knife. I have two empty cartridges of Polaroid films. Uh, the reason for this is that I would like to test the camera as soon as it's open. Uh, it's empty, so there's no film inside, just the batteries. And I also have here with me one of my Polaroid cameras that it's exactly the same model, but this was the model that was on sale, was on the market, yeah? So this is, let's say, the real camera, yeah? This is the real 660 autofocus camera yeah? that has been in the market since the beginning of the 80s and it was exactly the same period where Polaroid launched this demo uh, transparent camera that people could understand how it works. Yeah? So we'll be comparing both of them later when the box is open. So yeah, let's go to the box. Let's go to the unboxing. Um, as usual, I just, let's say, covered here the addresses, not the, the, the label that was on the top but it is exactly how I got the package. I never had contact with this type of demo camera before, so I didn't even touch the package just on the label on the top, yeah, for the that and shoots for the data protection. So let's open it. I'm really excited to see how it looks like, yeah. I saw some videos on YouTube about these cameras, but I think I found only two or three. Um, so let's say there are not a lot of people talking about these cameras and uh, also not really easy to find them uh, on sale, yeah. Uh, let's see here one more and that's it. The box is open. Let's see how it looks like. Looks interesting. So first thing here is just, let's say, a shampoo box that like to protect the camera for moving inside. I have here also um, some kind of notes from the person that sold the camera, quite nice. Um, and this I have to understand exactly why it's saying that it's for a collection, you know? So it's, let's say, a compliment, a greetings, you know, just for a collection. So saying that it's 1024 uh, production. Ah, it's 1042, sorry, 1042 production piece, really interesting, never saw it before. PX680 color shade, first flush, so eight pictures inside for Polaroid 600 cameras. This was, seems to be the number 150, really interesting, really nice, one of things for my, one more, more thing for my Polaroid uh, collection. So I was not expecting it, it was not on the advertisement. Um, but yeah, the most interesting is what here inside, in a box, what is, let's say, I'm not really sure if it was the original box, but I believe yes, yeah, because as I said, this camera was never on sale. So let's say Polaroid was not uh, launching these really nice uh, Polaroid boxes for this camera. So I believe that the retailers were getting these in a really simple box uh, like this one, yeah. So really well packed. Let's see how it looks inside. Also quite complicated, quite hard to find the information how many of these cameras, these demo cameras were produced. Uh, so it's not, let's say, also clear, you know? But they can say they are quite pricey no? um, on the online market and not easy to find. So here we go. And here it is, yeah, so the transparent Polaroid 660 autofocus. Uh, amazing. It's the first time I have the contact with this type of camera. You open here exactly as the another one.
quite nice, yeah. I don't see any kind of defects. The camera looks really, really nice in a really good shape, yeah. Some of these cameras, when you see some pictures of these cameras online, you see that uh, the material, this, this uh, transparent case, sometimes is a bit yellow, yeah. I think it's because it was exposed to, to, to the, the sunlight for really long because I imagine that the retailers that got it, the people that were selling, the companies were selling Polaroid cameras, they left these cameras for a long period of time on the shelf for the customers that they could see it, yeah? And then, of course, it like caused some kind of uh, issues if this plastic here, it gets a bit yellow. But this one is a really, really nice shape, you know, no cracks, really good. The person that sold it to me, to, to me he's also a Polaroid collector, he said that he had, uh, um, uh, had had it already for 12 years and he decided to sell it further, yeah? Um, another really interesting thing is that there are some stickers here with numbers of the components. Yeah, one story that I, I, I heard is that Polaroid also had next to this camera in the shops some kind of uh, paper, you know, a flyer, a poster, maybe a better word, a poster, where the numbers were explained. Now, uh, we were explained what one uh, meant, the number two is here on the top, number three, number four, number five, nah? Um, so for example, number two, imagine it's the autofocus that it's here, yeah? So really interesting, really, really interesting. Yeah? If you can compare both of them, they are exactly the same camera, yeah? And here they are, next to each other, yeah? Uh, so nice, amazing. So are you first, let's say, use one of the empty cartridge? I'm not sure which one of, which, which of them is, is really working. But I use first in this one, the normal Polaroid, yeah? So when you press this button, the flash will work. It takes some time till the flash works. So we can hear a bit the flash loading. And when it is loaded, we can go further with the button and the flash will work, yeah? So this is how the camera works. The viewfinder is here, so it's not a single uh, lens reflex uh, camera. So what you see, it's not exactly what the lens is seeing. Yeah, it's like, say, it's just an estimation. So here it is, working perfectly. And if you don't want to use the flash, you can also press this button here, yeah? So without flash. This is how it works, quite simple. Here you have the adjustment to make the picture, let's say, a bit lighter or a bit darker. Uh, but it's really simple, really simple usage. This was already, let's say, one of the concepts of Polaroid, making cameras that everyone could use, really really simple um, and intuitive usage, yeah? So let's check this one out for the first time. I'm uh, quite curious to know how it behaves. Of course, interesting, important to say is that this camera, we cannot take pictures of it, yeah? Because uh, since it's completely transparent, it doesn't work for pictures. So if you try, you just, let's say, make one cartridge of 20 euros Polaroid pictures spoiled. You just spoil it immediately, yeah? because the, the light goes inside and the film is really sensitive to light, of course, and it gets, let's say, um, spoiled immediately. Um, although I have to say that I will probably do one more video trying to make pictures of it. I just would like to know what is the result. Of course, I imagine the result will be a completed picture, a picture that you cannot see anything on it, but maybe trying to cover some parts of it and see what happens. I think this is, this is interesting. So let's see, let's see how it is working. And here we go, yeah, here we go. So let's take one picture. You can see some kind of movements here. Uh, yeah, amazing, really nice, really nice. Let's see if the flash is working now. I can see the flash loading. Yeah. It's still listening to it, the sound is there. As soon as it's gone, I press the button and see if the flash is working. Still there, it takes some time. Uh, this is, this is, I think, normal in the other camera. I also face this kind of issue. Sometimes you are taking the picture, it takes a lot of time, the flash gets 100% loaded. I have to say this one may be a bit longer than usually what I experience with my normal Polaroid uh, 660 autofocus because I can still hear it and I still see that the uh, light inside for the flash is on. I will try to take the picture, not, not yet, you see? So it's still loading, still loading, takes some time. I hope it works, I don't know. So I release it and try one more time. Here 
Here we go. It's quite easy to, to, to listen to that. I mean, uh, the sound is quite, quite loud. So you don't even, let's say, have to look all the time in the viewfinder to understand if the, the flash is on or, or, or not, if the flash is loaded or not. And yeah, it's, it takes some time. You can even see a bit of the light here that it's also used in the viewfinder. I'm not sure if in the camera it's easy to see it, but there's some kind of red light here that it's also used for the viewfinder. So if you are taking the picture, you can see this red light in the viewfinder. And when it is off, it means it's loaded. You are ready to go, yeah? And yeah, it seems it's running forever. I don't see it working, I don't know. The camera is for sure working. I even tried to change the cartridge. I don't think it's the issue, to be honest. Let's see what happens. I'll take the cartridge out of this one. Because maybe the battery of this cartridge is a bit better. It's in a bit better shape. What can make a difference, yeah. So working. Now trying with the flash again one more time. I still can listen to it. Now, yes. Yeah, really good. So it is working in a really good shape. Uh, nice camera, really, really nice. The only thing here, the only small detail that I can see is that the sticker, the number two here, has a bit of, let's say, damage, but it's just a bit, I, as I said, like the plastic cover is in a really, really nice shape. And some of these cameras that have been sold, they also don't have the original stickers anymore. Yeah? So this one is, let's say, it. to be really honest, it, it, it looks like it was produced, to, I mean, uh, one week ago. Yeah, it's like, it seems it's just arrived to the retailer shop. Really nice. I'm, I'm really happy that I could find, I could find it for, let's say, reasonable price and in a so nice shape. Yeah. Um, Polaroid also developed later on uh, with the same camera, uh, the 660, but in an elite uh, mode, elite version, where only this part was transparent, but it was not so light, as light as this one. It was a bit darker plastic, uh, and the rest was exactly like this one here. So this elite one you could use for taking normal pictures. It was a completely normal camera. In an, let's say, elite mode, you can also find it online at eBay, but also, let's say the price is quite high compared to this camera here, yeah. Um, <coughs> Polaroid also developed, let's say, other versions of transparent cameras, but I think these are the most famous ones that I know, is this one elite mode with this upper part transparent, and they also developed one of these Spectra cameras, this Onyx, that I also have one here that I would like to show. In the original case, is this Onyx camera, uh, using spectra film, yeah. Uh, so this upper part uh, was transparent, as you can see, but it is a normal camera you can use for taking pictures with it. Uh, so it was a version celebrating the 50 years of the Polaroid company. Uh, it was launched in the 80s and 87, uh, and I believe produced for one, two years, and it was already out of the market. So let's say this is also one really interesting camera that I have in my collection. So well, that's it guys, I hope you like it because it's really hard to find some videos or content about this camera on the internet and I will do more videos about this camera, yeah? So as I said, I will try to make pictures with it. So I put this cartridge inside of the price of 17, 18 euros and I will try to make pictures of it and see what happens. I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited that the camera is really well working. Thank you very much and that's it.